A profit and loss account template is important, whether you're running a business or in the process of setting one up. If the latter, as part of a P&L forecasting, it forms a required part of a business plan. A P&L account will show you what your business's income and expenses are, so you have a clearer idea of your trading history over a certain period of time. A P&L template shows your business performance over a specific period of time, recorded incomings and outgoings, sales income generated, including estimates of work in progress but not yet invoiced. A P&L statement is usually prepared annually and shows revenues and costs and how much profit has been made over the period. It should form part of your overall bookkeeping set of documents along with the balance sheet and cash flow forecast. For limited companies and sole traders earning over £50,000 a year, a profit and loss statement is required for HMRC. The financial analysis section within a business plan should be about three pages with data in an optional appendix. The first part should consist of a summary of forecasts, so that means a monthly profit and loss forecast for two years, profit forecasts for a further three years, monthly cash flow forecasts for two years, and a cash flow forecast for a further three years, which is optional. The templates have been produced to be in line with HMRC reporting requirements for self-employed professionals. The numbers are for illustration purposes only and completely random. All income from sales should be added for the period the P&L is being prepared for whether or not you have received payment. Sales with no received payment should be added to the debtor's account in your balance sheet. The cost of sales includes any direct costs involved in making and selling the product purchased including the wages of those involved in making the product and purchases made from suppliers for goods or raw materials used in the accounting period. Overheads include general expenses and all other costs you have been invoiced for during the period, such as rent, rates, professional fees, vehicle costs, national insurance and pensions, utilities, etc. Items invoiced for but not yet paid are added to your creditor's account on your balance sheet.